So hi guys, thanks for watching and welcome to Saint of the Week. Uh, this week's Saint of the Week uh, is the Feast of Saint Peter and Saint Paul. So here's five things we think you need to know. So number one, Saint Peter and Saint Paul are celebrated together uh, as they are both patron saints of Rome uh, and they're known as cornerstones of the church. This is because they were two uh, of very strong apostles of Jesus uh, and they followed all that he said. So number two, uh, Saint Peter, he was one of the Jesus' 12 disciples uh, and he was the first pope of the church. He is known as the rock of the church uh, and he was crucified actually in about 64 AD uh, and he asked to be crucified upside down because he didn't feel worthy of being crucified the same way that Christ was crucified. So number three, a bit about St. Paul. So St. Paul uh, was one of the apostles of Jesus. He never actually met Jesus, okay? And this is because he was just slightly after Jesus uh, and he is the reason why we have uh, so much of the Bible that we do. Uh, it's why we have our four Gospels. Um, and he originally was known as Saul um, and he used to persecute uh, Christians. However, he described himself having uh, a conversion experience where he saw a great bright light um, and Jesus told him to change his name to Paul um, and that's why we know him as Saint Paul. So number four, why do we celebrate these two saints together? Uh, well, it is thought to have been the same day where St. Peter and St. Paul died, just a few years apart although on the same day. Uh, and that is why they're celebrated together. They're also known as saints, they're known as rocks of the church. So their saint, their feast day, is higher than other feast days in the church. Uh, and that's why it's together. It's on the 29th of June, um, which is this week. So, number five, what can we learn from St. Peter and St. Paul? Now, they're both known as rocks of the church, and they stood very strong in their faith. So we can do that, we can use their example uh, to stand up for what we know is right in society, whether that's uh, something that our friends we know are doing wrong, we can stand up against them and do what we know is right. Uh, as well as our faith, we can stand up for our faith and defend our faith um, if someone disagrees with something we believe. So, thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed learning a bit more about St. Peter and St. Paul. Remember to give us a thumbs up and subscribe, and we'll see you soon.